Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. It is me, it is I, it is she, it is her, it is the, it is who, it is Rosie Rosette 2020. Pow. Pow. How are you guys tonight? I'm doing okay. I went to the chiropractor and she kind of, you know, pushed and shoved or whatever. And she was touching my shoulders. I said, don't do that. I'm in pain, okay? Because I was, you know how you someone does something and you kind of react i was like listen you don't want this you don't want she was like oh okay i'm so sorry so we just went over what was in pain but anyway she kind of adjusted some things and so i'm feeling kind of feeling myself she said i might hurt tomorrow so let me enjoy you know the adjustment and see if we can you know get back to whatever but you know it is what it is okay let's talk about Brian Landry's human remains. Now, I had made a video, what, two days ago or yesterday or something like that? They, From when I made the video, they had found his shirt or some clothing object. And it was, it was questionable. Um, okay, well, let's just do the update. And I got this from the shade room also. The FBI confirms human remains found in Florida nature reserve belong to Brian Landry. Landry? Landry. Um, update. On October 21st, 2021, a comparison of dental records confirmed that the human remains found at the T. Mayberry Carlton Jr. Memorial Reserve in, ooh, honey, my walk. King Kachi, well, I, I cut that up, I, the, the um, Creek Environmental Park are those of the Brian Laundry. Now, uh, I'm still kind of skeptical because why didn't the, the dogs get the scent from the clothes? You see what I'm saying? Like this whole rigmarole has just been kind of kind of crazy from the beginning why did they get so much press why because again in st louis seven black women have died seven black women were killed in seven days nothing like i haven't seen anything on cnn on the local news or on well i don't live in st louis so i don't i wouldn't get their local news but still nothing but you got one one woman and her boyfriend and there's like a nationwide search for him i don't get it. i'm not saying her death was any more or any less important but it's like the comparisons but anyway so we had that bounty hunter you know the white guy with the long blonde hair he couldn't find him the dogs couldn't find him so how did they end up finding the remains from this young man or was it the remains or the clothes? Body parts or just clothes? But no, it had to be body parts because they said the dental records. Interesting. That's interesting because I don't know how the, the dogs didn't track him. What's his name? Brian Landry Laundry. Dental records show remains found at Carlton Reserve are those of Brian Laundrie. Okay. Okay, that's him. See, I knew this. I knew that was going to happen. I knew that the commercial was going to come up, and this may not even be a video of this. I always give you. Okay, here we go. Fox News alert a major update in the Gabby Petito case. The FBI confirming. That the remains found in yes found yesterday in Florida are indeed Brian Laundries. All right, uh, let's take this around the table. Dagan, surprise. 
Uh, not surprised how they were discovered was a little fishy. Yes. They said that they had been under, <clears throat> the area had been underwater, and then the water receded, and they discovered the belongings, and now his body. What's unfortunate for Gabby Petito's family yeah. is he will never face a jury. There will never be uh, punishment for this. He's dead, and there's no prosecution. Oh, wait, let's go to Phil Keating. He might have some information. Phil, you there? I am here. I did confirm earlier this late afternoon that the skeletal remains were actually just bones. That's what the human remains were. But at that point, we still did not know the identity of whose bones they were. Then about 515 across town over at the laundry home, an unmarked car pulled up. A couple of FBI agents went in for about three or four minutes. And then just minutes ago, the FBI Denver, which has been leading the FBI's investigation due to this proximity and control over the happenings in Wyoming where Gabby Petito's body was discovered. They tweeted out, and I will quote to you exactly what they wrote, a comparison of dental records confirmed that the human remains found are those of Brian Laundry. Steve Bertolino, the often quoted attorney for the parents, Chris and Roberta Laundry, has also put out a short note saying the parents have been notified. We have no further comment at this time. Please respect their privacy. So the national manhunt for Brian Laundry is now officially over was in fact his human remains found here yesterday inside the uh, nature park where he had been told uh, by his mom and dad to the FBI that this is where he went off for a hike as he frequently did two days after Gabby Petito was finally reported missing up in Suffolk County, New York by her mother after not hearing from her for weeks and weeks. And of course, Brian Laundry returned home from that big summer long road trip out west at all the national parks without Gabby Petito. What he told his parents to explain why she was gone, nobody knows. But the family did go camping a following weekend up outside of Tampa, and they've been under investigation. But they do probably won't be charged at all now that their son is dead, and there's no way to contradict anything they had shared. Wow. But Brian Laundry is dead. Thanks, Phil. All right. So even... Um even they said it's kind of suspicious that his bones is nothing but bones. My thing is this. Now, she passed away, what, what was that, like maybe three weeks ago? So if she passed away or went missing three weeks ago, let's say a month, all right? He came back went to you know went to his family they went on a camping trip the next weekend afterwards so that was a week or two okay two weeks afterwards how is it that they have only found bones of this young man not the actual you know like did the, 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 the animals eat him alive you know did the alligators eat him alive and just leave the bones that doesn't make sense to me because there's no way that a body would, um, what is it? Not dissipate, just fall off the bones, you know, meat and everything fall off the bones in what, a week? That doesn't make sense. No, because if it's, if it was underwater, doesn't the water preserve it or did, you know, but and if an alligator was to eat it, he would eat him whole. You know, even if a snake, they would eat him whole. So, oh, I, I, you know, I don't know. What is the word for it? Not decimate. Um, when a body lingers or whatever, when it dissolves. I, I, I can't think of it right now. But anyway. No, something's not right. I, I, I just, I don't believe it. I don't believe it because there's no way that the skin and the, you know, the bone kept the blood. Well, what killed him? That's what we need to know. How did he die? That's the million dollar question. How did this young man die? And why didn't the dogs pick it up? Okay, so it was underwater. But wouldn't, wouldn't the dogs, like, follow the trail to the water, you know, 
to the point where he went into the water. I just, mm, I think that boy's still alive. I honestly think that there's, that he's still alive. Maybe he had all his teeth taken out. I don't know. I don't know. But you know what? It's Florida. I told you it's Florida. There's, there's some crazy things going for some change. And so her body was found. Was her body found? In Wyoming. So he went from Wyoming. He left her there. He did whatever in Wyoming and went all the way down to Florida with his family and has been hiding out or went camping or the family went camping or whatever the next weekend. And they're not being investigated or taken into custody or whatever. No, this is, this is, I'm not going to say inside job, but there's a lot of speculations here. A lot of mishandled investigations i'll say that um there's no aggression you know those black people the whole family would be investigated you know probably taken in people with the warrants would come out of whatever i i just that his family i would assume had some part in hiding him but then he ends up dead I, you know it's i don't know i i i i, I don't know this is this is a weird one this is a word one. This is another one. No, you know what? I don't even want to focus on this. We need to be focusing on the seven women, the seven women, seven women that got shot in seven days um, in St. Louis. Like, where's the uproar with that? Where's the FBI and the investigations and everything on that? Is, is that an inside job or something like that? Um, yeah, I, I don't even want to continue and following this these leads and you know whatever because you know that's what they'll do they'll say oh the body has been found whatever and still the killer is still out the, the killer still out roaming around somebody just picked the ball well where did the ball come from are you playing soccer at 12 o'clock at night yeah i guess you are uh oh okay i'll talk to you guys later bye